We are two international students in Romania. And since we finished the fourth year of our med studies here in Bucharest, it is finally time to explore the rest of this amazing country. We've rented a camper bus which should become our home for the following two weeks, packed all our camera gear to take you guys with us on the road. So join us in this fifth episode as we're gonna explore the beautiful city of Cluj. Oh yeah, and by the way, we are Forza and David, but together we are known as Romaniac. Morning, maniacs. Um, it is now around 9.30. We slept in quite long. We've got some beautiful sunlight and, and it's really hot during the night time. It was actually starting to get boiling. Sit out here for the first time. We haven't actually used any of these tables or chairs or the roof at all. We're going to hit Bucharest, see what we can do. Not Bucharest, Cluj. It's still the morning. I'm still waking up. Oh. Okay, somebody's clearly had some practice. <laughs> Sensational. Every single guy knows that when you're when you were a kid, you started off. You you always peed like in the tank of your car. No, but I mean you had the urinal, and then you're like, how far can I actually step back before <laughs> before well, I just make a mess and my mom has to clean it. Yeah. First of all, now we have to turn on the gas. I forgot about that. Like always, sausages. We are in Cluj right now on the camping, and we have some really cool things in plan. We made it a bit spontaneous. We had a live stream yesterday on Instagram. So follow us there as well if you don't want to miss out on the live streams, on the posts. We just uh, got some good hints on what to do in, in Cluj. We are currently on the way uh, to the city centre. We are running, as usual, running behind schedule. It's half past one, but we should be able to see everything and, and go on the little mini quest and finish it by around four, I would say. The one big difference that I can say from here uh, to Bucharest, since they're both big cities, is that here the, the buildings look much older and much more, how do I say? Conserved. Yeah. They conserved them. So they've conserved like the culture of the old time um, and the streets are really well paved, huge as well. Yeah, everything just looks really, really nice. A little bit like, it reminds me a bit of Vienna. We just parked up the car. We are now on our way to the city center. Today we're going to explore the city in a bit different way. And we are kind of excited for that. So what I've done essentially is that I've downloaded an, an app called Quest. Now, this is not a paid promotion, but it's really cool. So, in most big cities like Barcelona and Cluj as well, in London, you can play some little games and little quests. And over here, we're going to be looking around Cluj and exploring the city. Um, 
in a, in a little quest, I guess. So, an old prophecy says that whoever will find the crow and set it free will discover the lost treasure of Cluj. Let's go. Look at the stone bastion and find the two letters written up on the coat of arms. Let's go. Do you know of um, any crow over here? Yes, I think it's a symbol of, for one of the main personalities from uh, this city. I don't even know if we're in the right place to be quite honest. Crow, crow, crow. To really? find the crow, you must enter the citadel of Cluj. Doing this by passing through the most powerful defense point in the city. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we are wrong here. You want to study medicine or dentistry, but you can't get a place in your home country? There's a simple way to solve this problem. Loads of people just start studying in Romania and so did we. You can either after two years switch back to a university in your home country or even finish your studies here and practice in the whole of Europe. If that is something you are interested in, you can just book a free consultation call on our website. We'll answer all your questions and help you to get a place in this amazing country. For finding a crow and a treasure, you will need a few keys. The first one is in front of the church, if you can find the name of the order. Wait, again. There's a church. Bro, there's something. Yeah. So this is up Wait. 10 shooting holes. This should be left now. Right Into the construction. <laughs> Let's just walk there. Fuck it, man. Yeah. <laughs> so just go and make a photo. Found it? Yes, that's it. Name of the order of the church was Franciscan. So now we've unlocked the next key. You will get the second key from Anna Soslu, Sosli's husband. All you need to do to find this is to find his initials carved in stone. Let's go. Then turn right on the first street and stop at the crossroads. An old house at the crossroad of Ober and Gratiano streets. The answer is written in the stone above the window. Now, where is Gratia? Man, this street is Southern University. Oh, well, here's nothing. Right there, somewhere. <laughs> so, we are back at the old cross section. Oh. Walked now, one. Let's look for this picture. Here, here. It's crazy. Find moment. the initials carved in, and U as you can G see, it's UG. G. Vamos. That's correct. Now we continue. It is time to decipher the secret hidden in the image and solve the challenge of mirrors. From the goldsmith's house, go on to Herman towards Erio, um, then cross the road and walk through the alley between the houses. At the crossroads, take a few steps to the left and look for the word. It's our first time in Cluj. It is, yeah, it is awesome. It is again so different to all the other cities. I think a lot of preserved old buildings. Yeah, but it's kind of beautiful. For me, it feels like I'm on holiday. Um, you can see the mountains from a, like over the, the city and, and the city has like a more relaxed kind of feel, which I'm not used to from Bucharest, even though it's a very huge city. Yeah. Gap here. So let's type it in. Fantastic. Now you have successfully completed the mirror challenge and you can continue the quest for finding the crow. The map that will take you to the truck to the crow is hidden inside the house in the big square. To get it, you must use the code 161718 to decipher the three letter word on the building. So go there by walking to the to the big church, then stop after 50 steps to the left. We are here, but again, construction. This is a bit unfortunate, you know. Do we enter into the library? We go into the library. It is hidden inside a house in the big square. To get it, you must use the code 16. Oh my gosh, yes. 
There it is. We found a map. But for understanding it, you must solve, to understand it, you must solve another challenge. To open the map that will take you to the crow, you need to go to the horseman across the street and write down his name. So guys, we are right now at the next hint. Um, it's very hot, so we may be going to go for a drink as well during this trip. So the name of the horseman is... Matthias, Matthias Rex, Rex. So the king. He just kicked my ball over. Or twice. <laughs> Matthias Rex is the name. Let's write it in. That's right. Okay, follow the map to the crow and set it free with the Francescan key. After doing this, find the Roman cipher written on the walls of the house right above the crow. So we are here, we have to go all the way over there and set the crow free with the Francescan key. Let's have a look exactly where this is on the map. Is this building for sure? Who is the crow? Because it could also be a person, a name. He is the crow. Oh, I see the crow, okay. <laughs> there you go. Right above the crow, the Roman cipher. We got it. Now that we finished that, we're almost done. One of, on your way to the treasure, you must pass through three evil bears challenge. Go find shelter across their, ho across their house in a hotel restaurant named Blank. So the biggest hotel here was actually Hotel Transylvania and we just randomly put it in and it seems like it came up. So next, along the years people have not been able to find the treasure. We will walk on Ferdinand Street, go past the first intersection, then make a right along the water channel and cross it to the first street on the left. Enter the square and look for the blazon with the three elements, moon, star and black. First route to the left. After yeah, we that crossed road. it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there it is. It's, oh, another huge station. Moon, star, and flower. Yeah. The lost treasure will be found at the end of the mysterious passage. Then enter the gate of the passage with the key you received from the goldsmith. Climb 23 steps and stop there to give the name to the passage. That's right, continue. Walk up the Galileo passage, then look for the cross on the river side of the hill. So we have a picture of this, and this was, was it over there? Okay. 
Walk up the Galileo Passage, then look for the cross on the river side of the hill. Riverside. You have to get up there. I don't mean this as well. No. Where's the cross? Maybe I'm done. Have you seen it? Yeah, I see some people there. It's not that high, it's so. I hear this. Guys, I found it. Look up there. It is. Wow. It's huge. Walk up, look for the cross, blah, blah. Use the code 4895 and deceive the message hidden on the wall for revealing the treasure. No. 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 It's just not there. No. no. Fuck. It has to do something with this. Wait, four. One, two, three, four. I. I N. E I N E L. Yeah. Email. In L. Oh, wait, what is the name? It seems we are done. It says the ring NL was returned to its master King Matea. The legend of the crow that appears on the bal on the blazon of the Corvinus family starts with Vorchil, the grandfather of Matea Corvin, who served the Hungary king and guarded the borders against the Ottomans. Enel is the name of the ring. And this is the end of the quest. <laughs> Right now we are in Cluj, in one of the biggest cities of Romania and of course we also want to try Romanian food. It's not that well known around the world but we're gonna show you guys. Yeah guys, that will be too long for this video. But if you want to see us trying traditional Romanian food, head over to that video. Thanks for watching, don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed watching it and also subscribe to our channel for further content. See you guys next time, la revedere and ciao!